Well, we're finally gonna get to take it camping. All right, folks, well, the day has come. This is my 2002 Volkswagen Beetle. Modified to have a camper shell on top of it. And uh, last time you guys saw it, it wasn't campable. But today, I'm excited to announce it's gonna be the first night we're gonna camp in it. I've never slept in this thing before. I haven't even opened it up. You can see there's actually still zip ties holding the, uh, the brackets together here. So we're gonna go on this adventure together. Gonna be making a simple recipe out of the out of the bug tonight. Gonna try to find a camp spot. See what staying in this thing's like. Let's get after it. How do I get in here? What's up, dude? What's up? How you doing? Nice to nice meet you, man. Nice <laughs> yeah, it's my old number that's on there. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah it numbers. got sent back twice to the house. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go oh, deliver it. Sorry. It's weird. No, no worries. No worries. No worries. Dude, I started watching like two, like three years ago. Did you? And I was like, dude, I wish I could do what he does. And now me and her is thinking about buying a van and all do that. Do it, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. That. That's it's awesome. A goal. It's a goal. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so there's some stickers left on mavmadeit.com. If you guys want me to hand deliver stickers to you, it could happen. www.mavmadeit.com. Get your sticker packs today. There's like. 50 of each left. I don't, I don't know. I thought there was 50 left of each left when I left though. All right, we got the goods delivered. Now we have to find the camping spot. Well, by the look of it, we're supposed to get some weather. It says there's a 100% chance of a thunderstorm right now. And for some reason, I believe it. I mean, that's pretty, but I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just looking for a spot to camp. Yeah, yeah what's up, man? Yeah, How are you doing? You. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Andrew. Andrew? Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, it's awesome. It's good to see you. What's up? Yeah, I just flew back to come see my parents, but uh, I'm going to get back in my car. Yeah. Ah! All right, well, I'm trying my best to drive up north and uh, see if I can beat this storm. It's a good, good first test, I guess. I was gonna buy some lights for uh, cooking because I, I don't really have any lights to put in this buggy and uh, this whole town doesn't have lights because they don't have power. So we're gonna be cooking in the dark. There's three trees in a row that all had flares on them uh, that got blown over from the wind. And the policemen are out like marking them so people don't run into them. This is insane. I guess it's a nice welcome back to Minnesota. Gosh, dude, what the heck? All right. So I've never set this thing up before, so this could be, uh, we're learning together here. Oh my God, he 
these bugs are so bad. Oh. This will be interesting. So many mosquitoes in here. As you can tell, I got some canvas made for the outside here. There's so many bugs. It's crazy how many mosquitoes are out right now after this storm. <sighs> Why? Why is there so many? This thing is a death trap. Are they getting up through the gaps or what's going on here? Well, um, a few issues already off the bat. The main one being that there's a bunch of mosquitoes in here and I think they're getting in from little cracks in the canvas. And there's nothing I'm gonna be able to do. Unless there's just that many mosquitoes in here, but I don't think that's true. My sleeping bag's wet somehow. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be more glamorous. All right, let's get cooking on some dinner. I've had one of these cookers for a while uh, in my truck, and I really like it. Um, they carry them at Walmart. Uh, I'm not sponsored by this brand or anything, but Camp Chef. If you want to sponsor me, that'd be cool. This thing is only like 60 bucks, and you can use propane and white gas with it, which is like super awesome. Tonight, I'm actually going to be using propane because I couldn't find white gas. I don't I normally, well, I wouldn't normally use it, but I do like using white gas when I can. One thing that's awesome about the setup is that I can access the front very easily. This is where I'm keeping my toiletries. Cutting board kit, chips. Yep. I love camping. Yes, I do. All you do is you take your little adapter. There you go. This thing boils water within like a minute. So if you guys are looking for a little camping thing, I, this is what I recommend. I'll leave a link for them in the description. I don't have any like spices or anything for this vehicle yet, so we're not getting super fancy tonight, but one of you guys decided to send me some Cajun Power Sloppy Joe mix, and I thought that sounded fire, so I'm gonna try it out. Thank you very much to whoever sent this. I know your name, but I just forgot it. Thank you. I do really like being able to stand up though. This is awesome. Like, this is some next level stuff. I got my cliff bars for the morning. This is my only utensil for tonight and it's, I think I got a little bent. Yeah, bugs are definitely getting in here. There's no way they're not. Oh god, I gotta drain the fat, that's right. It's been so long since I've had Sloppy Joe's, dude. Like, it's probably been two years? Something to be said for uh, for simple camping meals. Hmm. 
Quest chips. Yup. Hmm. I have missed Sloppy Joe's. It's smoky, sweet. You got that tang from the onion. Good thing I got a lot more to eat. Okay. I gotta say, being able to stand up, it's a new level. I have a sink, I have a roof over my head, I've got decent ventilation, and I've got friends. Um, I was gonna get a mattress for this, like before I got out here, cause you can fit one from here to here. But where I live, it's very hard to find foam. I just got myself a little blow up camping pad. Uh, this is my 30 degree sleeping bag. And I just brought a pillow from home. So this is like what I got made here. This is somebody off of Craigslist made like this canvas and uh, these screen doors. So actually, I mean, it's not that bad. Like the construction of this is really good. Uh, the one thing I'm bummed out about right now is that you saw those clasps. They got, they got clasps from the outside. I think the bugs are getting in because there's like gaps between where they get buttoned. I mean, I think in normal pop-up campers like this, it's like the material is like attached, you know, it's like attached on the inside somehow. I don't know. This is a work in progress. I just wanted to get out in it and see if it was possible to camp in it. And it is, but it's definitely not easy or glamorous. There's a water tank next to the sink. It's not hooked up. And I think I need to get a water pump and hook it up to a battery. Yeah, just a lot of things need to be done in here for it to be operable. It's getting to be my bedtime, so I'm probably gonna jump into bed here with my buddies. Hopefully I don't get absolutely destroyed by bugs tonight. Hopefully the structure stays up and doesn't close on me. Hopefully it doesn't rain sideways and come through my now very open screen doors. All right, well, by no means is it perfect, but did I really expect it to be? The biggest thing for me to tackle for next time is to seal it off for the bugs and figure out some sort of lighting source. But other than that, I mean, this thing, this thing's fun, man. I like it. Thank you guys for tuning in to the first episode of The Bug Camper. Um, let me know if you guys like this build. Give this video a like if you liked it. And as always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on bugging.